So you have that synthetic wig and you have no idea where to start. Don't worry, I'll show you a step-by-step -step tutorial in this video. Stay tuned. So first you're gonna need all these products to get started. I don't use glue, you can use that if you like, but these are all the products you're going to need to install your synthetic wigs. I'll link it all below from my Amazon storefront under Wig Essentials. I like to start off with my hair flat. Using a wig cap will help you get there. And then you put the wig on. And then what? What do we do? What do we do from here? All the videos are usually fast forwarded. So I chose to go ahead and make this video a little slower for you guys. So you first want to line up your wig. Make sure you line up the air tabs and have the wig in position. So I like to brush all the hair back, all the hair off the hairline. I did pluck this wig off camera. I have a separate video for that, which I'll leave in the cards. This is my technique. There are plenty of techniques of how to do it, but I do like to start off using two pieces of hair on the side. I use that as an anchor, which you'll see later. You can cut your lace on your head or you can use a mannequin and cut the lace before you get started. I'm gonna show you both. So this part right here, I like to go in with bed head. I like to make sure that the forehead is is nice and clean I'm just using alcohol to wipe off all the excess oils so the bed head can stay bed head is not glue it's just kind of an adhesive I like to use that there's plenty of lace adhesives that you can use I also did make a separate video of that and I'll leave it in the cards of different lace adhesives but this is my adhesive of choice so after it's lined up in position pretty much right over your hairline I'm just combing all the hair back we're just trying to get it to look as seamless as possible and I'm using that blow dryer just to kind of melt that lace onto my forehead. And I'm also lifting up that excess lace that doesn't need to be tacked down to my skin. So I'm putting a little bit more bed head on top of the lace. So if you wanna cut your lace off first, you can. I like to go in with an eyebrow razor. It creates more of a realistic jagged hairline. Or you can use scissors and just make sure that you go back and forth and it's not as straight. It's gonna make it look more realistic. But I'm going in with an eyebrow razor. The first one that I was using wasn't sharp enough. Enough, that's why I'm just switched up the razor. You can go ahead and cut the lace off your head. Again, I can't see. So <laughs> this is why I like to do it kind of off camera sometimes, but you're just cutting that lace as close to the hairline as possible. Uh, closer to the hairline to me makes it look a little bit more realistic. And having a few strands on the lace is okay. This is the mannequin head I was talking about. So I'm just cutting the other side. And again, this is slow time as you see sometimes in the video it's really fast forwarded. So I just wanted to do this in real time so you guys see that as much as it's sped up, it's not that fast. So take your time because you can cut your lace, you can rip your lace, you can cut your forehead. Just take your time. It's not a race, but more practice, you can definitely do it. So next you wanna line up your wig and pretty much just line it up right above your hairline or you can put it behind your hairline if you choose, but I like to go in just right above my hairline. I'm going in with that bed head spray and putting just a little bit and then I'm going in with my Boho liquid gel. This is not glue. This again is just a temporary adhesive and I'm just putting one layer over right above my hairline and I'm lining up that lace slightly above my hairline right on that adhesive. I also like to have some clips on hand just to kind of push that hair back using that hair we pulled out as an anchor. You want to make sure everything is nice and lined up. You don't want to keep lifting and putting it back in place. You want to make sure it's right in place so it's a, just a smooth melt. And then I'm going to go in with the bed head just right on top of the lace and I'm pressing everything in with a tool. This is going to help create more of a seamless melt. We don't want any lace lifting. We want to make this look as natural as possible. Yes, it's lace. It's not skin but we want to make it look as seamless as possible so i'm just wiping off any extra residue and then i'm going to go in with the blow dryer as you guys saw this is fast forwarded like you see in the videos but it's really a process of blowing it down it takes about like five to ten minutes like be patient just because you see in the videos it's all fast forwarded like this it's a process you want to make sure it's nice and secure and when that side is nice and dry where i don't need to kind of hold it down anymore i go in on the other side and repeat the process and your wig should look just like this nice and secure so i like to pin my hair up i kind of forgot that so i had to edit that part in and then i'm going to go in with my elastic band this is a melting band and it's really going to help with that extra melting of your lace so give that some time and when that's nice and dry usually about like after 20 minutes i like to go in and remove some of that residue because it's definitely going to be some residue on 
there depending on what adhesive you're using and i'm just using my rat tail comb to break up that adhesive where the wig is not looking as stiff and yes it's going to be residue but we're going to wipe all that off and make sure you hold your lace down too because you don't want that to lift i'm just breaking up all that residue where the hair is moving we don't want stiff residue wigs so you use some alcohol clean up all that extra residue that's on my skin that's left on the wig again this is how it looks in videos and this is how it looks slowed down i just wanted to show y'all both because it looks quick and easy but it's a process so take your time so again this is what it's looking like after all the residue is cleaned up certain adhesives you'll notice will give you a little bit more residue than others but just clean it up until it's nice and clean so I like to put my melting band back on with my makeup just for more security. And this is what it should be looking like. The wig is not going anywhere. Next, if you didn't tint your lace, I like to go in with this makeup on top of my lace. You can put it under your lace or you can do it on top. You can go under with tinting spray or makeup. I'm just using the makeup that's left over on my brush today to match it. So you just wanna make sure it's nice and matched and it's not looking white. If you notice the difference in the color, we're just matching that lace to our skin. We don't want to walk around looking like we have dandruff or ashy laces. You got to match that lace. Again, use the makeup that matches your complexion. And that's what you should be looking like. So this is what it's looking like after. Next, I'm going to go in and work on my part. I like to use this Maybelline Fit Me Powder because we're trying to make this part look as scalp-like as possible and as natural as possible. Sometimes when you're done doing all of that, you still might notice a cast going in with a darker shade will help with that cast i don't suggest going in with that at first because then you'll just have a really dark lace this is just my contour color i like to use after i put my makeup on and just kind of get that extra light cast to blend more then i'm going to go in with my synthetic wig products i definitely recommend having synthetic wig products if you're going to be wearing synthetic wigs it's going to help with your wig maintenance so you just want to comb it out brush it out get out all those extra hairs use your serum use your wig spray and then sometimes you might have to go in with a hot comb having a hot comb on hand is definitely beneficial with synthetic wigs because sometimes they can be a little humpy you don't want to go in too hot using 350 degrees or lower but you definitely can melt these wigs so keep that in mind and I'm just kind of cleaning up that hairline if I can I prefer more of a clean hairline you can go in with baby hairs if you choose but I just like to kind of create more of a cleaner hairline. And that's it. You've installed your wig. Let me know if this video was beneficial to you. If you want to see more videos like this. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Make sure your notification bells are on. I'm not on a schedule. And I pretty much just drop videos when I can. Hit that subscribe button. I'm going to talk to y'all later.